what's up guys, it's LegoHobo910 here with another LEGO video, and in this video I'm going to be showing you uh, my custom Star Wars ATRT mock, as well as teaching you how to build it. Here's a uh, comparison to one of the official LEGO ones, I believe this is from the 2015 Clone Turbo Tank, I think it's 2015, don't quote me on the year though. And the reason I built this is, first of all, I just kind of wanted to build an ATRT. Second of all, I think the LEGO ones aren't very accurate. Whereas these legs aren't really as thin as they should be, they're supposed to be kind of super thin. Plus they made it way too bulky in my opinion, and it doesn't really capture the angles of the front as well. Plus it has this weird, dorky, unrealistic looking stud shooter cannon, whereas I wanted a more realistic cannon. So, let's start looking at this bad boy. So first of all, it is kind of hard to get to stand up sometimes, as it's, it's not really meant for play as much as it is display and looking good. Though it can be posed at the legs, you can move at the feet as well as at the uh, hips and as I said it is a bit fragile and kind of a display thing instead of play. You can get it posed in a running position. It won't really stand like that though. So we're going to start by learning how to build the legs and the feet and then the front panel there, then the main body, and then we're going to assemble it all into the full ATRT. So these are all the parts you're going to need to build one foot and one leg. You will need to build a second one that's a mirror image. I will be teaching the left leg, then you can figure out how to mirror the right leg. Though some of these pieces, you don't need to necessarily use that exact same piece, and also colors are all preference. Like for example, this one here, it's one of these printed studs, which are fairly common. You don't need to use that though, because you may not have all that. You could just use gray or light gray studs, or a silver stud, or light gray tile. Or you could also use a pop can lid piece. Or you could just leave them off. They aren't important. They're just to help decorate a bit. So, let's start by building the foot. There is another foot design I will show you, and if you want to build the other foot design, you won't need these pieces. Instead, you will need these pieces to build the foot design. This is the alternate foot design. I prefer the one I'm going to teach you here because it's a lot bigger and more stable. Plus, I think it looks more accurate to the ATRT. This is the first foot design I built, and then I built that one. So, we're going to start off by building the foot. You take your two clips there with the click hinges, and you attach the 1x2 with modified bar on it. And then you attach a cheese slope right there, a tile right there, and a tile right there, and then you take the clip and put it in the center for kind of a little back toe, and there's the foot. We'll set that aside for now. So now, to build the leg, you're going to start off with one of these, then you're going to take one of your Technic connectors, pop it right in there, and then I found this interesting little piece. It's just a uh, tech, straight Technic connector, except it has like some weird rings on it. You could also just use a normal one, except I thought this looked a lot cooler since it added a bit more texture. So you just attach that. Take another Technic connector, attach one of these right angles, and another Technic connector, and then you use this piece here. And then you're gonna take your two blue pins, you could also use them in different colors, just blue is the most common, and since it's going to be covered up, that's what I decided to use. You attach them on this side, whereas for the other leg, you would attach them on the other side. And then you pop these little silver pieces on, and attach your robot arm at the bottom. Then you take your foot, and for the left leg, you attach on the left side if you're looking at it at this angle. For the right leg, you attach on the left side, and then you should have two legs that look something like that. Now we are going to build the main front panel. Here are the pieces you'll need to build the front panel, and once again, colors do not matter. For example, this green cheese slope, I just used it because I thought the uh, olive green looked good with it. You could also use a blue one if you want it to be a 501st, or you could use orange for 212th, or you don't even need to have that on there, or you could use a gray just to leave it unmarked. I just like that because it adds a bit of color. Then also I have one silver and one gray stud. And once again, these stud colors can be any kind of gray, silverish color. Doesn't really matter. The only piece I would recommend a different color 
is this blue one. I just used this because I could only find it in blue. So now let's get started building this. We're going to start by taking the blue piece with studs on all sides. And then we're going to attach this gray one on top. The gray one by one. Then we're going to take these angled pieces. Attach them right like that. Then we're going to attach the gray stud on the very bottom, and then the silver stud underneath that. We're going to then take the jumper plates and attach them up like that, and that. And then we will attach the levers there. These are going to be the control sticks for your ATRT driver. You could also just use uh, normal 1x2s. They don't have to be jumper plates. I just prefer the jumper plates because it gives it a much smoother look and puts the handles in what I think is a better place. And then you take the green cheese slope and pop it right on top. So here's the main body of the ATRT with the front panel and legs removed. And we're actually going to kind of take off the back section here and we're just going to build this right now. Here are all the pieces you will need to build the main body of the ATRT, and I feel like I don't need to say it anymore, but I will anyway. All colors are preference. So we will start with a 1x4 with technicals in the side, and we'll take our two light gray jumper plates and attach them like so, so they are offset. Then we will take the dark gray 1x1 tile, and this piece is not necessary at all. I just prefer it. It makes it look a lot cleaner. We're going to attach that there. Then we'll take our three long Technic pin and slide it into the front hole like that so it's sticking out evenly on either side. We're going to set that down for now and we will build the gun. So you're going to start with this little Technic pin and then you will take your light gray bar and slide it in. You want it to just kind of be barely in line with that. If it sticks out at all like that, it's not going to work properly. You want it to be basically as little in there as you can with it still being stable. Then we're going to end it with a lightsaber piece, and we want the bottom of the hilt there with the... Uh, we want the rings at the top and the bottom with the little jutty out things at the end of the blaster, so it looks like that. And then we will just take this neck bracket piece in black and attach it right on the end there. And if you want, you can make sure your gun is kind of straight so that way the, one of the juddy things is up at the top, but you don't really have to do that. Just I feel like it makes it look a lot better, so that way it's more clean. And you take your neck bracket, and you don't just attach it normally. You see the little hole on the bottom? You take the stud in the neck bracket and attach the hole instead of where you would normally attach it. Just in the gap, you attach the little peg onto the neck bracket. And then finally, we're going to take this 1x2 and 1x1 plate and stack them like that and then we will just attach that on the bottom normally and these pieces once again aren't needed they just help stabilize the gun a bit and then your gun can also rotate a little if you want it's not really super meant to be rotated but if you need it to it can be rotated so now we just have kind of the seat area to build which as you can see it isn't fully connected it'll connect all better when we put the whole thing together so now let's get building the seat area here are all the pieces you need to build the seating area and very back of the ATRT. One piece of note is this musketeer sword. And this isn't a very common piece, so if you don't have one of these, you could also just use a spear piece or a sword, or you could just use a normal bar or antenna piece, as long as it can in some way, it has a bar thickness and can attach to a clip. So we're going to start out by taking said clip and attaching it to the bottom. This could be left or right, I prefer left, I just think it looks better. And then we take our 1x3 in black here and attach it to the bottom like so. Then you attach the clip on the bottom to secure it all in place. I mean, not the uh, clip, the 1x2 plate. Then you take your uh, musketeer sword and attach it to the back as the antenna. And this piece here will just hang loose for now. When we connect all the different pieces together, it'll all come together nicely. So now you should have all these pieces and we can now assemble it. So we're going to start by taking the seat back of the ATRT and we're going to take the very end of the black 1x3 and attach it onto the jumper plate like that. And then we will take the 1x2 black plate and attach it on right there. And then we take the leg of the ATRT 
and attach like so. Then we take the other leg and of course attach the other leg on the other side. And then you take the very front of the ATRT and attach it to that one final stud there. And now you should have a complete ATRT ready to put your clone troopers on to ride into battle. So then you can mount your clone trooper on and they can ride away into battle. Thank you for watching. I'm really proud of this ATRT design. And if you do build it, go ahead and like put a link in the description to like, I don't know, website where you posted or something. Or if you made a video, post it in the description, like copy the link. Because I want to see if you guys build it. And also if you do something cool with it, like put it in a video of yours or stop motion or something, go ahead and show me. Really love to see what other people do with the things I build. Thank you for watching. That's all. And peace.